Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstad. So today I'm going to be doing a video on my color correctors and decluttering them. I recently did a makeup inventory and I've recorded a few of these so far, so these all will be going up uh, however I can get them edited. But I got looking at some of the things in my collection and realized I had things that I didn't need or things that I bought less than a year ago that are something that I really like just don't need. So what I plan on doing is going through and explaining why I bought some of these things and going over why I'm getting rid of them. I am going to be um, just discussing the color correctors today. Now I have 10 color correctors here and this was one of the ones that I bought. This is a peach color corrector. It is from Hard Candy. I will be getting rid of this because it's the wrong shade for me. I have dark purple under eyes and I use yellow to correct it. Peach is for more like a brown undertone that you would have for a dark circle. So I'm getting rid of this one. This one I got not that long ago. I don't even know if I can still return it. I have used it like twice. This is the brightener from the Maybelline um, Age Rewind and I do have their lightest one as a concealer but that one is just way too pink for me to use. This one here is the Maybelline Master Camo. It is a blue purple corrector. It's supposed to cancel out like um, it's supposed to cancel yellow in the skin so I was using this on my temples to kind of color correct some of the uh, sallowness that I have in my skin but it's just one extra step that I need to do and so I don't really use it so I'm gonna be getting rid of this one then we have my BH Cosmetics total coverage concealer this is in pink I also have the white I used I was using this to like try and color correct on my skin but realize that it's just not it's it's a really nice pastel pink but it's not something that I need so I'm gonna be getting rid of this I was trying to use it to use it up as like a cut crease thing, but I used the one, the white one for that. So there's no point in me keeping something that I can, uh, you know, pass on or sell to somebody. And then lastly, we have the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion. This is in Peach. This is their Peach Corrector. It's supposed to be for dark circles, but Peach just does not work on my skin tone. So I'm getting rid of that one. And I'm only keeping five when I'm, I'm going to try and like, use this up and get rid of it. It's almost empty now. I did use this for my March Shop My Stash. This is the yellow cushion corrector from Wet n Wild. I just, I don't care for the fact that it's in a sponge and I've got to open like three things just to get to it and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. I'm keeping the White BH Cosmetics one. This is the Essence in Pastel Yellow. It is their color corrector. It's a little in a thin formula. It's, it's, it's kind of watery just like this one here. This is the NYX yellow one. This one's also, it's like a, a buttercup yellow formula. And then this is the Concealer Twins from Physicians Formula. The light side is way too dark for me, but the yellow side is, it reminds me of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Perfect Concealer because of the thickness of it. It has very good coverage. It is the right shade of yellow. Usually I mix these two here to get this shade. So I'm going to... I wish that they made this by itself and my local Walmart just discontinued this from their SKU list. This is usually like five and a half dollars at Walmart, but on the Physicians Formula website, it's like $10. So I'm going to see if I can find that somewhere else because um, I really don't like having to buy, you know, these two and then trying to mix them and I have to like layer and layer and layer to get these to even work. So. I'm trying to find a yellow corrector, uh, a pastel yellow corrector that will work on my skin to help hide the purple in my under eyes. So if you guys have a recommendation for a yellow corrector, please let me know. But this will do it for the my declutter for my correctors. I'm keeping five and I'm getting rid of five, so I've literally cut my selection in half. And this really isn't a color corrector. It's something that I use to put down on my eyelids to do color correcting 
or like canceling out of color when I'm doing like a cut crease or something that's artistic. You can also use it to like lighten concealers or foundations, that kind of thing. It's a pretty nice consistency, but I do like using it and then putting eyeshadow over it because it does stay sticky and tacky long enough for me to do that. So hopefully you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. I will be doing more of these declutters as I go through the rest of my collection and hopefully you guys are enjoying them. I will see you in another video very soon. Have a great one. Bye.